Today we are going to demonstrate a meter bridge, which is a practical version of the Wheatstone Bridge. Firstly, this is a diagram of a balanced Wheatstone Bridge. This means that no current flows into the galvanometer. Any ratio of the resistors will equal the ratio of the corresponding resistors provided the galvanometer reads zero. However, there is a more practical approach to this, which is the meter bridge. We are using this to find the resistance of a wire. A meter bridge is made of a meter of wire with a meter stick, a known resistor, a cell, a switch, a galvanometer, a wire of unknown resistance, and a sliding contact. When the meter bridge is balanced, the galvanometer will read zero. Then the resistance of the wire divided by the resistance will equal this length divided by this length. Let's find the resistance of the wire. Firstly, we need to find the balance point. Remember to avoid the error of parallax when reading the meter or the galvanometer. It is not balanced. Now it is balanced. L1 is 46.9 centimeters. L2 is 53.1 centimeters. This is a 2 ohm resistor. R divided by 2 equals 46.9 divided by 53.1. The basic equation is R1 over R2 equals L1 over L2. This becomes R over 2 equals 46.9 divided by 53.1. This implies that R equals 1.8 ohms, correct to two significant figures. The Wheatstone Bridge is more accurate than the ohm meter, but is less convenient to use.